Hey guys, we're currently in southern Alberta on a mule deer hunt, and we were lucky enough to actually harvest a great buck the other day. So today is my favorite part, as we're smoking mule deer ribs. All right, so the first step I've already done is I've gone ahead and I've preheated the smoker to 200 degrees. Next, we're gonna actually be doing a little bit of prep to get these guys ready for the smoker. First off, I wanna say this recipe can be used for any domestic animal like pork. Pork ribs are great, but today we got some great mule deer ribs. So first step, we gotta remove this membrane. It's a really, really thin membrane, and with the help with a fork or a knife, you can just slide it in, and get the fork underneath the membrane, and you just pull it up until you can get hold of it with a piece of paper towel, and a lot of it will pull off. It can be a little stubborn at times, but the goal here is to pull off as much of this membrane as you can before we actually start seasoning. So now that all the membrane is off, we actually get to the seasoning part. A lot of people actually don't eat the ribs of a deer, but you can see there's tons and tons and tons of meat here. There's great, great meat, but you just gotta learn how to cook it. It does take a little bit of time, but that's where a smoker really, really comes in handy, and especially a pellet smoker, because you can put it in, forget it, and when you come back in you know, three hours or so, a couple little steps, and it's done. So, seasoning. First thing we wanna do is cover everything in salt. We got some sea salt here. You can use sea salt or kosher salt, doesn't matter. You're gonna to wanna to season both sides generously. get all the ribs done here. So now that everything is seasoned up with salt, the next step is mustard. Now, even if you don't like mustard, the flavor isn't really gonna come through a whole lot. It's really just to help the rub stick to the meat. So it's just a plain yellow mustard. I'm gonna go on and just slather it on. Gloves obviously help with this stage. You wanna make sure it's nicely coated on all sides and all around the edges. Next step, we're actually gonna to wanna to apply the rub. So this is a rub that we have here is a mix like a sweet and spicy with brown sugar, paprika, cayenne pepper, uh, celery salt, and you can put in anything you wanna do. Pick up your favorite rub, make your own rub. Um, it's something when you make your own rub is, is fun to do and you can try different flavors. So very generous. I'm get it all over, a nice thick, thick coat, pat it down. Help it adhere to the mustard on both sides, again, on the back end. And this rub will actually give the meat, when it's cooked, a really nice deep red color and some really, really nice flavor. And a rub like this is really, really useful on many different cuts, so I'll generally make a big batch of this and I'll use it from ribs to giant pork roasts or deer roasts or moose roasts. You can kind of get the flavors you want and then I'll change it up throughout the year. It may look like a lot of seasoning to some, but trust me, you're gonna want this nicely heavy coated. Okay, those are looking pretty good now. And that should do her. And you can already see that dark red happening in the meat, and it's just gonna intensify as that thing cooks. So next step, we're actually gonna put these guys on the smoker. Okay, smoker is rolling, and we have a temp of 212, so that's perfect. We're looking to get around that 200 mark. What we wanna do for the first part of the smoke is lift these guys on, and we wanna go bone side down for this. We'll just get them right on the rack. And today we're smoking with a premium hardwood pellet blend. This is a a mix of maple and cherry and hickory and a really, really nice palette for smoking ribs and a lot of different things. So they're in, this is gonna smoke for three hours, sometimes two if you're doing domestic, but for this, we're gonna go for a full three hour smoke. Okay, so we're in one hour to our three hour smoke. What I'm gonna do now is actually do a mop. 
This mop sauce here is an apple cider vinegar base with some oil and then some other steak spices. You can add whatever you want or buy whatever is on the shelf, but this mop sauce is really going to help moisturize all the meat during the smoke because it is a long smoke. It won't dry them, it keeps the meat from drying out and it adds a lot of flavor. I love the apple cider flavor. So let's take a look at these guys and they are looking good. So all we're going to do, just like the name, mop all the ribs down. And you don't have to do the mop. Some people don't like doing any type of mop. You can play around with the flavoring. But I really like the acidic component of an apple cider vinegar. Okay, this closes up. We're gonna smoke for another two hours. I'm gonna be doing this mop every, about every 45 minutes or an hour. So the next step in our smoked mule deer ribs is the braising process. They've been smoking away now for three hours, but this next step will actually help speed up the cooking time and we can actually impart some extra flavor. So first thing I like to do is grab some butter. We have two pieces of aluminum foil here and they're just made it double wide. We just put a few slabs of butter down and the butter is gonna add a lot of richness to this meat. It's gonna melt and the meat's gonna soak into it. It's gonna be really, really nice. The next step I like to do is maple syrup. Now you can do brown sugar, you can have, don't do this, any type of sugar at all, but this sweet element really adds a nice little touch. So now we're gonna grab our ribs, and you can see really nice pliable at this stage. We're gonna go meat side down, it goes right on top, and then we're gonna repeat the same process. A little bit of butter. And then also another drizzle of maple syrup. And the final touch we do to actually make this a braising step is we're gonna add some juice. You can do apple juice, apple cider. This is an apple and orange and peach mix. We're just gonna add a little bit of juice in here. And then we're gonna roll it all up. You wanna make sure that this is wrapped nice and tight, all the sides. Just roll it up, and this one's ready to go back on the smoker. So when it comes to the braising step, we wanna make sure that we up the temp to 250 degrees, and we also wanna make sure that we place these ribs on the smoker, meat side down. We're gonna be braising these for one hour. So I have the rest of these ribs to do, we'll get them wrapped up and back on the smoker. And here they are, smoked mule deer ribs. All I gotta do now is cut them up and they're ready to serve. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to this channel. And follow us on Facebook and Instagram for daily original content from our adventures across Canada.